application, and then if more information is needed, go to the more extensive one. And so we did that, and at least in San Diego, uh, I can tell you that the we're seeing about 30 or 40 percent more deals coming to us on a monthly basis than we used to. My impression is that the quality of the deals is not improving. You know, what, we're, what we've done is we've sort of opened the floodgates, and now, now instead of getting, you know, fewer quality deals, we're getting a lot of deals. The number of quality deals in there are still the same. That hasn't really gone up at all. And now people are talking about, you know, putting the bozo filter in to try to screw that down a little bit. So it's, you know, we're sort of like fighting against ourselves here. We're, we opened up the gates and now we have a lot of work and it's, we're still filtering out the same number of deals as we did before. Steve, how about member-led deals? More or less, historically, when I joined Tech Coast Angels, I saw a lot of member-led deals and they often come in with a lot of credibility be resting on the credibility of the member. I think that's still in place. I don't think they the number of member-led deals is any different today than it was two years ago. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I think we still see, and, and those are usually the best deals because they've already been tuned up right. a little bit. Yeah, in HF uh, last year we looked at 97 companies went through our application process. We had 14 of those present and, and funded three, so probably not atypical kinds of numbers. Uh, the first quarter of this year, which is the first one I've really looked at, the 